Hello friends and welcome. Today I want to talk about the most common juggernaut mistake I see. I talk about this almost every time he comes up in one of my replay analysis streams, and that is using spin incorrectly. Juggernaut is known to be a classic kill combo because of how much damage spin does, even at level 1, but as you level it up it only gets stronger, and so it combos really well with any kind of support that has a stun or slow, and even without that, if you just have damage you might still be able to get kills, but not if you're using it incorrectly. So first I want to show you that even at level 1, spin and auto attack can do a similar amount of damage. So I gave this guy a bit of extra magic resist from intelligence, this guy a bit of armor at three, that's pretty standard. So when we have someone attack and spin for the same amount of time, you're gonna notice that obviously, depending on magic resistance and armor, it might vary, but it ends up being pretty close, all things considered, that a full duration spin is about 300 damage, attacking in that time is about 300 damage. Even when you're faster than a hero, say 300 move speed to 280 from Crystal Maiden, and you wanna run them down, let's say you're willing to chase about this far before they get back under their tower, or something, right? Because of the way attack moving works, you will attack once, maybe twice in most cases, and even though I'm faster, right, it took that entire time for me to catch up, so I only got in two attacks. This time, let's give Crystal Maiden boots, so she is actually faster than us, and you'll see that when she's running away, if I were to attack, I could only attack once, but because I can move while spinning, I'm getting that full duration spin, even though she's faster than me. Based on what I just told you, you may have pieced it together already, but the mistake people make is spinning way too too soon and not making use of that movement element. So when the target is next to you and they're not moving for whatever reason, maybe they're stunned or slowed, or maybe they're just fighting back or going for a last hit or deny, you should just attack them. And it's only after they start running away and you would get kited that you should spin and then maybe at the end of the spin you get another one or two auto attacks off, especially if you have the phase boots to catch up. So maybe you're attacking, they start to get away, so that's when you phase boots to get closer, spin, and then at the end you're in front of them, so then you can attack one or two more times, that's how you would maximize your damage. It would look something like this, attacking while she's stunned, and once she starts running away, then I spin next to her, and then at the end of spin, if she's not dead, I attack. Many people get way too excited and spin right away trying to get the kill, but that means once the target actually starts running away and you need to attack to finish up the kill, they end up kiting you because you stand still while they just keep running. By holding on to the spin, you get to choose whether you are going to commit further or not. If you do decide, like, hey, we can kill this guy, then feel free to spin early, especially if they have a stun or a slow that they are throwing at you. You can dodge it with the, the debuff immunity and then run them down and hopefully kill them. But if they throw that spell on you, you can maybe choose, well, I'm just going to let it hit me. And they have used their stun. It's now on cooldown, which means they should be too scared to approach the creep wave. And now I just get to deny things in their face. And if they do try to walk up too close, well, then I'm just going to go on them. And now they don't have their stun. So you get that option. But if you just spin right away, then you don't really get to. Like you have used your stun at that point. You've pushed in the lane. Maybe you don't get that kill. And now you're like in this weird spot. So I highly recommend attack first when you're next to the targets and then spin if it looks like, yeah, I'm gonna get the kill, let me commit, let me finish with the spin. I hope that helped. Like I said, it is an extremely common mistake I see because Juggernaut is such a popular carry. So I hope that with this, you will execute it a little better and you'll get more kills in your laning stage. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in another video.